What's up, you guys? Time is back. Another Lin Sense video. And uh, you're probably looking at this video and be like, man, something new about this guy. What is it? Beard's been there. The hat. Glasses on occasion. The cross. The ring. The watch. Man, your boy finally got a new damn sweater. Man, ain't this thing looking slick and sharp. Reebok. Got this at TJ Maxx for a nice $24. Uh, I'm starting to get a uh, little bit colder in wisconsin man um like i said it's 37 degrees right now while i'm making this uh video uh hoping it gets to about 50 but the thing is with wisconsin weather it's like you want something that's warm but you never know if the temperature creeps up to like 50 and then you got this thing on you're outdoors and now you're too hot um so this is actually the perfect type of like jacket sweater uh, for Wisconsin weather right now, especially with it being 37, you never know. Like I said, it could be 50 degrees later. Then I don't want to be too hot. So this is perfect. It's keeping me warm enough at 37. It'll probably be just light enough to not feel too hot when it gets to like 50. But anyways, man, I just uh, got this fragrance that I'm going to discuss today. It's a cheapie. It's from the house of Frank Olivier. You can only get these pretty much on online i don't think i've ever seen these in the store anywhere not even the rack stores have never found these at the rack stores um they frank olivier has plenty of cheap fragrances and they're all pretty damn good in my eyes um i got uh like three of them and they all work wonders man um cheap less than 20 bucks they all work great different occasions um but the fragrance i'm going to be discussing today is a fragrance that I haven't worn in a while. Should be wearing this a lot more and probably will. Especially with it being cold, this fragrance has gotten me plenty of compliments. Now, I know there's gonna be some snobs out there. They look at this fragrance and it's like, oh my God, that's not even the real stuff. I got stuff that's way better than that. Well, all right, get on your high horse, whippity doo dah, go saddle off to somewhere else because this fragrance that I'm gonna be talking about today is beautiful. It's amazing, sexy, compliment getter. To me, it projects really nice because every time I wear it, I get compliments. Um, but before I show you that fragrance, um, let me just get into uh, like something as far as fr uh, compliments go anyways, okay? You know, everyone likes to wear fragrances because the compliments that you garner um, is kind of like a booster in the self-esteem um, you know, you go outside, someone says you smell good. Next thing you know, you got this smile on your face. You're like, man, damn, I sure the hell do. You got this whole new self, self-esteem about yourself that day. You got a gloat. You smile a lot more, but man, a lot of times, honestly, with compliments, a lot of times, some people just are afraid to come up to you and just say, man, you smell good. So, you know, people might actually think you smell great. They're just afraid to come up to you and tell you you smell good man it's just how it is man some people are just shy like that so um whenever i come across someone that smells good man i let them know right off the back if i could smell i'm like man you smell great um and most of the times when i get compliments too it's probably someone that's not shy because i've noticed people that do give compliments are also willing to have a conversation as well right afterwards so just keep that in mind okay like i said you probably are getting plenty of compliments. They're probably just in the person's mind that's near you, okay? So just be aware of that, okay? But let's get into the fragrance I'm going to be discussing again that is from the house of Frank Olivier, and that is this bad boy, this Olivier, Frank Olivier Amber. Man, besides being the most ugliest bottle probably in my collection, and it is quite ugly, and this cap is a piece of shit, Looks like a damn one of those long Legos that you step on in the middle of the night. This the juice on the inside does not match this bottle, okay? Man, there are bottles that are just ugly, but this is like one of the ugliest. But man, the juice on the inside is amazing. Only thing I hate about this whole bottle too, besides how ugly it is, look at that, the stem. Come on, you guys. You guys could have put that stem right there in that corner. 
Man, look at that. I'm going to be losing a lot of juice when that gets low. Look, I'm going to be missing at least like uh, maybe a couple, like maybe 10 sprays because you decided to put it right in the damn middle. But anyways, man, let's just talk about this damn juice, okay? At the top notes, we got bergamot and orange. And then at the middle, we got patchouli, labdamum, vetiver, and sandalwood. And at the base, we're going to have amber, vanilla. So the amber and vanilla is going to kind of give it a little sweetness, a little woodiness, sandalwood, vetiver. Now... When I spray this on, it says the top notes are bergamot and what was that again? Bergamot and uh, orange. But honestly, I don't get much citrus at the top at all, to be honest. It's like, if it's there, it's there real quick. But then after that, it just dries down really fast to all those other things. Man, the vetiver, the labdamum, the patchouli, the sandalwood. Man, this stuff, you guys is very 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 nice again the thing is with these you got to pretty much blind buy any frank olivia okay you cannot go to a store and just ask to get a sample of something 10 times out of 10 those stores do not have frank olivier sitting on their shelf they don't have a sample a uh, little tester that they can you know let you try out so these you are going to have to blind buy but trust me on this one you guys this one is definitely blind buy worthy you are not going to regret this purchase especially for the price that you're gonna get it less than 20 bucks dude you're gonna get plenty of compliments I get a lot of woods at the top too that's probably from that sandalwood but man that nice little amber that brings all this together the amber and a little sweet from the vanilla like I said there's not that much citrus if it is it's already dried down into all those other notes so man you guys do not hesitate to grab this bottle, okay? I kid you not. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. The wifey likes it. Anyone who smells this, who I've like lit smell this, they love it. It is amazing. I don't know. They don't really hype this one up that much. They always talk about the Oud Vanilla, uh, vanilla one, whatever like that, and some of the other one, the Oud Touch. But this one deserves to be mentioned a lot as well. Go out there and grab this. Hey, man, if it might be, like, you know, generic to some people. It might uh, smell, um, um, what is that word? Not natural, I guess. Um, might smell fake. But you know what? Doesn't matter. It's not like I've ever had someone come up to me and say, man, you smell good, but you smell like synthetic. I've never had no one come up to me like that. Either you smell good or you don't smell good. That's all I get, okay? No one has ever came to me and said, man... I really smell that amber on you. I really smell this on you. I really smell uh, bergamot. I No, most of the time when you get compliments, damn, you smell good. What is that you're wearing? That's it, okay? So, man, if you're going to be a snob and you don't want to wear this shit, leave it for me because I'll buy another one of these, all right? There it is, man. Frank Olivier, amber. Good stuff, man. Less than 20 bucks. Go out there and check it out. If you guys like that video, hit the like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.